Today, on Be Something Wonderful, your I am story creates your entire life experience. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had a, a, some powerful sessions yesterday and was with one client that says, you know, Tom, I've been watching um, the last few videos and as you were talking about I am in affirmations and statements and so forth. And I, I, the reason I, I booked the session is I've tried, a, I, I've tried affirmations. And, and, and now, in light of what you've been talking about, I really want to approach it in the way that, you're, that, that you have discussed it on your videos. But I, I don't think I have the confidence or the inner conviction in them. So we talked about this. And, and so what, what, and normally what happens when I have a new client, they, they talk about their story. And so I, I just told her, well, what's your story? Tell me your story. And, and I let her tell her story. Why did I do that? Because as she was telling the story, she stopped right in the middle of the story. As I was listening, she goes, oh my God, I get why you want me to tell your story. Everything was contra to her affirmations or what she was previously affirming. Right, the story she was telling herself, the I am story in every moment, creates your entire life experience. Not just when you're affirming in meditations or, or, in, or just feeling good in an alpha state or, or just to yourself, right? But your story all day long, the story you're telling yourself, the story that you're saying that is your life experience. So I really wanna hit this today like we never have before. And, and so let's start with this. This is, I've talked about this in other videos, but I'm gonna really hit it from a different angle today. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. What is the Word? The Word is your creative power. That's your inner divine authority to condition consciousness. In other words, the Word is your I am. It's God's perfect idea of you. In the beginning was that creative power. And that creative power <clears throat> uh, was with God. And that creative power was God. In other words, that creative power is one with consciousness. But that's how you condition that consciousness. That's how you create your reality with your I am. You declaring with that divine I am, that divine inner authority, that's part of the great I am, what you want to be, do, or have in your life, right? The story you're telling, it's God's perfect idea of you. That's what the word is. In the beginning was the word, the creative power, or God's perfect idea of you, the Christ within you, right? And the word was with God, right? In, in other words, that I am is within you. You are one with God. In the word was God. You're, you are one with that uh, unconditioned consciousness. You are one with all that is, with infinite intelligence, with the quantum field, with that present moment, right? It, and remember, this I am, this God's perfect idea of you, underlines all manifestations. It's the vehicle through which God, or that creative intelligence, expresses itself. The word is the vehicle that God becomes manifest, that God expresses itself. Wow, that's powerful. That's how I wanna start off today. So, the word, I am, your higher self, your inner being, that God within you, through which the spirit of God, that infinite intelligence is expressed and made manifest. Do you hear this? That's what's going on. All things came into being, through him and apart from him, nothing came into being that has come into being. Everything comes through the door of that I am, your divine connection, your inner authority. So even if you're affirming in maybe 10 minutes a day or 10 minutes at night, that's good. But if the story of your, of your life, if the story of your everyday experience is something different, that's what you're creating. It becomes your entire life experience, that story, right? Your word, your story as I am, is your inner speech. It's that inner talking. It's that inner dialogue. It's your inner experience that then becomes manifest in your outer experience. In the beginning was the word, that story, that I am. That, then the word was with God. That becomes your inner experience. And then the, girl, the word was God. That becomes manifest as your outer experience. That's God manifested. 
right? What's your story is the question. And it's always the only question, right? This is why I asked my client, what was her story? It's your words that shape your experience, not the people, events, and circumstances of your life. This is from Genevieve Davis. I'm leaving a link below to her magic books. Great spiritual teacher. She talks about the power of words, right? That it's your I am story or inner speech that shapes and creates your entire life experience everything so will my word be which goes forth from my mouth so so will my word be which goes forth from my mouth it will not return to me empty without accomplishing what i desire that's big and without succeeding in the matter for which i sent it this is from isaiah 55 11. so i love the wording here listen to this so will my word be it will be my word will be in other words that i am will be which goes forth from my mouth, in other words, from that inner, inner state of that I amness, it will not return to me empty without accomplishing what I desire and without succeeding in the matter for which I sent it. So big. Let's hit it a little more. Your whole experience of life is just a story you're telling yourself, a story you're making up as you go along. That's from Genevieve Davis. Hear this again. Your entire life experience, your whole experience of life, is a story, is the word, is the I am, right? That you're telling yourself, that I am, that you're making up as you go along. Wow. So question is, what's the story that you're telling, right? Life is consciousness, right? So your whole life, the whole experience of your life, or in other words, the whole experience of consciousness is just a story or your word or your I am that you're telling yourself. The I am you're making up as you go along. Tell the story of how you would like things to be from that pure place of truth that I am. Then it becomes enchanted. It becomes your word. That word becomes enchanted when spoken from the heart, from that center of being, not influenced or coming from the 3D world. Right? Tell it from that place of truth within you. That's how I, I, the, those, that story or the even affirmations become so powerful. Tell your story of how you would like it to be coming from that place of truth within as if it is because it is when you use those words i am when you tell that story so remember uh, pontius pilate said to jesus when jesus was in front of pilate when they captured him when he was arrested when he was going to be the before he was crucified and, and pilate's trying to talk to him remember pilate represents the 3d world the 3d conditions the 3d thoughts and this is what uh, Pilate says to Jesus. I've said this before in other videos, but it's perfect for this one. You do not speak to me. Do you not know that I have authority to release you and I have authority to crucify you? That's what Pilate, that's what the 3D world, the conditions, the people around you, the thoughts, the feelings, that's what it's saying to you. You don't speak to me. The I am, this is you rising in consciousness. The I am, you're, you're not going to talk like that anymore. You're not going to remember that anymore. You're going to remember it the way you want to remember it. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna tell the story the way you want to tell the story. You're not even going to pay attention now to those 3D conditions or the old story. Right? You do not speak to me. In other words, you don't tell the old story. <laughs> right? Don't you know I have the authority to release you or, or, or to crucify you? Your old story, right? Exerting itself saying it, it, it does, it has the power to, to release you or crucify you if you believe in it. But what does Jesus say? You would have no authority over me unless it had been given from above, unless it had been given by that greater I am, that greater consciousness, that unconditioned consciousness, right? You would have no authority over who I am, right? In other words, I am, that conditioned consciousness or the 3D world. You have no authority over me. That 3D world has no authority when you start telling your own story. You would have no authority over me unless it had been given from above. Wow. Your words, your story creates your reality. In any moment, you can have a completely different experience of whatever's going on. That's what Genevieve Davis says. In any moment that you change your story, right? The 3D world has no authority over you. The people, events, and circumstances outside of you have no authority over you. Your, even your thoughts and feelings if you don't believe them, if you just leave them there and, and turn within to that I am and tell that new story of your wish fulfilled, of your desired end, they have no authority over you unless you grant it from that I am this within, from above. Unless you grant it, it has no authority. That's so powerful. So let's hit it a little bit more. 
Your story, your words, your I am, changes not just your present life experience, but the illusionary past and future. Remember, time is conceptual. It's a concept. It's the interval, right? It's that illusionary interval between two events. But know this, but there is only a now and one moment in creation. You can't have two events at the same time. There's only one. There's only what you're focusing on right now in that one moment in creation. Two events can coexist in the now. When one event is present or remembered, the other is not. That's why. So when you're telling a story or you're remembering something from the past, then you can't have what you want, to, what you would like it to be, and remember and talk about how you don't like it to be at the same time. Right? Because remember, time's conceptual. They don't coexist. You're in the now moment. There's one moment in creation and you get to tell the story right now. What are you going to put your focus on? Because you can't, you can't be split between two masters. Right? Two events can't coexist in the now. When one is present or remembered, the other is not. Time is only now. No past, no future. Those are recreated in every moment when you remember them. So when, it's only when you remember them that they become, then that moment exists, that event exists when you remember it. But then the event that you really want or that you prefer can exist when you're remembering something you don't want. You're creating it in every moment of now. There's only one moment. You create it with your thoughts, feelings, assumptions, but especially with the story you're telling yourself. The I am, who are you? That's the question, right? By your word or story, I am, that is your inner authority that has total dominion over your reality and life experience. That I am, that present moment, who you say you are right now, in every moment, that's your inner authority that has total dominion over your reality and life experience. That has total authority over everything. Not Pontius Pilate that represents the 3D world, but your I am. So, okay, so Lord, I am not worth, this is the, this is the story of the centurion, the healing of his, ser, of his servant. Jesus wanted him to heal his servant. And this is what the centurion says to Jesus. Lord, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof. Wow, hear this, to come under my roof. I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof. In other words, in, my, in, in this lower state of consciousness, the 3D me, I'm not worthy, but say the word. Say the I am, that higher I am, that spiritual consciousness, that Christ within you and my servant will be healed. Wow, how powerful is this? Say the word. What's the word? I am. I am healed. I am worthy. I am truth. I am love. Right? I am joy. I am success. I am abundance. Right? I am deserving. It's all of that. Your 3D story, your lower mind, that, that's the old limiting story, right? That's the one that feels not worthy for that I am, the greater I am, to come under my roof, to come under my influence, right? But if you, if you place absolute trust in it, in that I am, like the centurion placed absolute trust in Jesus, remember Jesus represents your I am, your greater I am, say the word and my servant will be healed. Say it. Absolute trust in your inner authority and higher self, the I am, your new story. A statement from a place of truth within you, right? And then, and then it continues in Matthew 8, 9. I am also a man of authority. This is the centurion continuing saying this to Jesus. I'm also a man of authority with soldiers, and remember, soldiers represent your thoughts, right, under me. I have thoughts under me. I'm a man of authority with thoughts under me. I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, right, showing that you do have authority over your thoughts and over your feelings. And he comes, and to my slave, do this, and it does it. What's the slave in this case? Your body. <laughs> Listen to this. So it's recognizing that you do have authority. And then that, so you can believe in that I am. Wow. So powerful. So powerful. And then, so make your world, your inner speech, your new story, a natural and real part of who you are. Trust it that I am. And then and this is what Jesus says after, after the centurion said that to him. I have not found such great faith with anyone in Israel. Jesus marveled at the great faith of the centurion right? Your world, a story manifests according to your faith. That's big. 
put your absolute faith in your divine nature and inner authority as I am. That's your I am story. That's how your I am story creates your entire life experience. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. More and more of you are joining. It's an open group where you can share insight and guidance and ideas and, and, and so forth and, then, uh, and manifesting stories. That's on facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. You can also join us on Instagram at Tom Karen, on Twitter at Tom Karen, or just visit our website anytime that has all the updates, has all the information. It's at tomcaron.com or be something wonderful.com. Until next time, creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, see you soon.